we are going to go through this average. Now, I know right now, if I do this, if I hit equals and I do average, um, and let's just say from this range here, down here, I know that it's really not 86.5%. For instance, if you have a missing assignment, normally missing assignment would register as a zero. So that would be different quite a bit. Now if it's an E, that means it's excused. So I know right now this formula is wrong. Okay, so what we have to do is we kind of have to do a little bit of substitution and we're gonna use an if statement to do this. So for instance, in this situation, it's a 97. So I really want this to show as a 97 as well. But here with, where it's an M, since it's missing, I want this to show as a zero. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hit the equal sign and I'm going to say if, okay? And when, once I do this, I'm going to uh, kind of open up my parentheses like a normal program here. And I'm gonna say if the data in J2 is equal to M, and I'm gonna put M in quotes because if I just put M, it's gonna look for a column M. If, I'm, if it equals M, I'm first of all going to say that I want this to register as a zero. Otherwise, I want it to show whatever is in here. So if I do this, that will give me a 97, okay? Now, if I copy and paste my formula down, you'll notice that that works until I get to this E for excused. But in my little situation here, I've got an issue now because now uh, if uh, J2 is equal to M, I've got a, a true false condition. So I've got a zero here or I've got this other little situation. So in order to get this third option to appear, which is our E for excused, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a second condition here. So I'm going to say if, and I'm gonna say J2 is equal to, and this time I'm gonna say E, oops, sorry, E for excused. Um, I'm going to register this as a space because it's an empty value. Otherwise, I want it to show as J2, okay? And if I do that correct, when I paste this down, which I'm going to do right now, that should register correctly. So then I could do the average over here of this to this, and that will give me my average of 69.2%.